Laura Abbey. Thank you very much, Ed. Well, Dan Thompson, our favorite tech expert from Claris Network, joins us this morning to talk about not only some of his favorite apps for 2012, which we're going to get to, but also to talk about this whole tablet camera situation. Yep. Over the holidays, I called you and I said, <laughs> I just want a tablet that I can plug my SIM card, or not my SIM card, my... Um, memory card thank you <laughs> my memory card directly in and pull up all my pictures yep. and manage my pictures on my tablet and you said well you got to buy this you got to do this. so you're gonna kind of show us that this isn't as hard as I think it that's is. right that's right this is the common thing that I hear is hey I, I like my tablet but I would love to be able to get rid of my computer the main thing that I do is I take pictures of my kids or my family or whatever and I just want to be able to post those to Facebook or Twitter or whatever uh, and it's a little bit more complicated than you would think unless you have the camera connectivity kit so um, what the camera connectivity kit is um, is you get these little doodads um, that basically allow you to plug your camera straight into the iPad or the memory card from your camera straight into your iPad uh, and then the iPad itself uh, pulls all the pictures in um, so what I've done here is I've got you know our little camera here I pop the memory card out um, we turn the iPad on obviously and unlock no, that it. helps yeah you got to turn it on uh, and I'm just gonna pop the memory card oh. into the camera connectivity kit and then that goes in the little port in the bottom of the iPad where you would charge it yep yeah uh, and then this will spawn hopefully yep there's the little camera import <gasps> thing so these are all the pictures that were on the memory card um, we can just select a couple of them and tell it to import and I want to just import the ones I selected uh, and then this is going to now draw those in uh, and it looks like it's done now and so we're going to keep the ones that are on the memory card and then go to my photos uh, hopefully yep there we go and then this is the one that I just imported. So this is a picture from uh, Reykjavik in Iceland that my wife and I went to on vacation. <laughs> Let's show and, your uh, world travels. That's right. That's you right. You guys are world travelers. <laughs> um, so this is a picture, you know, right off the camera, and you saw how just quick and easy that was. So now that it's on the iPad, you know, possibilities are limitless. I can post it to Facebook. I can email it to friends and family if I want to. Um, and then it kind of simplifies that whole process. Now you don't need a computer, and you don't have to do things like transfer it to iTunes and then drag it down to your iPad or whatever. What about things like the Kindle Fire or the Nook or the Nook tablet or right. any of these other tablets that are out there? Do they have similar devices that they, will do this? They don't actually. So the one the one tablet that does have the port built into it, which is the Zoom, the Motorola Zoom, uh, it's a little bit difficult to get all this to work because they still haven't got all the code base worked out. So today, the easiest device to do this on is the iPad, uh, and it's with the connect camera connectivity kit. It's only thirty dollars, so it's not you know outrageously expensive to get. It, uh, and then you're up and running and you can do all this fun stuff with pictures sans a computer and sans a cord <laughs> that's right that's right which is nice you can just plug your memory card yeah. right into that thing and that's what I told you I wanted to be able to yeah, do that's right that's right the only thing that I that I kind of don't like about it is this whole thing kind of feels a little Bulky. flimsy yeah and like I would be nervous passing this around between friends or whatever but you know it is what it is and you are an iPad owner I have to point that that's out right, that's right <laughs> <laughs> okay let's talk about some of the top apps for 2012 give me your top three yeah that's right okay so number one uh, lots of people coming into the new year they have weight loss goals uh, so my fitness power uh, is an awesome app. It helps you track your calories. It gives some accountability there. It also uh, helps you track your exercise and things like that. Uh, it gives you targets for calories so that you can kind of plan your day better. Uh, and it's a great resource. Uh, I lost about 25 pounds last year just using that app. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And it works great. And the, the neat thing that it did for me is it kind of reminded me, hey, if I eat this chocolate bar, <laughs> yeah. it's going to push me way over my calories. I'm not going to be able to eat dinner. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And you know, the old adage is still true. Calories yeah. in, minus calories out that's like how much weight you gain right yeah. so um, so that's the number one app uh, number two apps you know things like um, you know Evernote to keep notes on um, I found a new app the other day it's called remember the milk uh, and this is like a task list thing so if you have things just items you need to remember you can kind of jot yourself notes um, those are two fun little productivity apps uh, and then of course a great one from last year that can kind of filtering over to this year is Spotify uh, so the Spotify app it lets you play mp3s and music and stuff like that while you're on the road it's a subscription service so you pay 10 bucks a month it's limitless I mean pick a song any song off the top of your head it's probably on there uh, you can load it to your phone plug it into your car and you're good to go that's nice yeah it's awesome so the technology fair going on in Las Vegas and yeah. they're talking about how your phone's gonna tell you no your refrigerator is gonna be able to tell you when you're low on milk yeah yeah I mean, is that well crazy? you know what's funny is they've been talking about this this uh, kind of smart refrigerator for years now uh, I have actually seen one you know on the floor but you know so outrageously expensive nobody's gonna yeah. buy it but uh, you know they keep saying that's 
coming, so we'll have to keep our eye out. I think I can tell when my milk's getting low. I'm <laughs> no, just I don't say that. <laughs> I, when it's out and I'm dumping it in my cereal. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Dan, thanks for being with us. We Thank appreciate you. it. Good demo there, too. Thanks a lot. That was my big question, and you answered it live <laughs> on air. All right, we've got much more to come at 7.50. We'll be right back.